Hey everyone, it's Mel from Bloombox here. I'm filming my project for this week's challenge from our Airbnb in Kumamoto in Japan. Kumamoto is a small city on the southern island of Kyushu and it's a sleepy town compared to the hustle and bustle of Tokyo and Osaka. We're here to visit my husband's grandma. I'm doing the voice separately because we're all squeezed into a tiny but very funky Airbnb house. So there's lots of chatter and babies crying in the background today. I was hoping to pick up some Sakura, also known as Cherry Blossom for this project, but it was just a tiny bit early for the season. So I picked up some gorgeous tulips instead for this video in a coral and beigey pink color. As you can see, some of these are quite open. I bought them like this on purpose, so they'd look awesome right now for this video. And also because we're only here for a few days, so they don't need to last long. If you're buying tulips for your home though, I'd recommend that you buy them closed as tight as possible so they last longer and you can enjoy watching them bloom as the days go by. Anyway, let's get into it. This week's project is all about simplicity. So all I'm working with is my six stunning tulips and a few little vases and cups which I found in our Airbnb house and I did buy one extra from a local store. I'm starting with the tallest vase and simply removing the lower leaves so we don't get any rotting below the waterline. This vase is the one I bought here in Japan. Actually it's a sake serving flask but I loved the hand painted effect and that imperfect organic shape that it has. I'll just put two long tulips in my sake flask and stagger the heights. Even if you only have a couple of flowers to work with and one vase, staggering the heights instantly adds visual interest and harmony to your work and it adds that professional touch. I'm also just using a pair of kitchen scissors I found here because I don't have my floristry shears with me but anyway these scissors are totally fine to use especially because tulips have a soft stem. If I had been able to get cherry blossom I might have had a bit more trouble because that's got a super woody stem which is much harder to cut even with shears. Moving on to the next little arrangement, I've chosen a small sake cup or a teacup. I'm not sure which one it is but it's a really pretty lilac colour which I thought would look nice with the colour of the tulips. Because this is a very short arrangement I'm going to give this one three tulips so it has more volume to make up for what it lacks in height. I'll just measure these and cut them to size then cluster them in. The theme of simplicity is perfect because I'm traveling. I don't have lots of tools or vases to work with, I don't have the space I normally do at home and I don't want to spend too much on flowers that I'll need to leave in a few days time anyway. I do however want to put my personal touch on the space we're living in and I want to make it feel as homely as possible even though we're living out of a suitcase. Fresh flowers is the perfect way to do it when you're traveling because not only does it make your hotel room or holiday house look, feel and smell great, it's a good excuse to get down to your local shops and experience your location in a different way. And by that I mean usually when we travel we rarely look at or buy things that we can't either eat on the spot or take home with us. So I think that flower shopping in a new area is a really cool and creative way to suss out your holiday spot. Lastly, I found a vintage crystal glass in the house to use for my last two tulips. This is pretty straightforward, just remove any leaves and cut to size. Add some water to your vases, actually I should have done that before I started so the stems went out of water for so long, oops. And then pop your vases wherever you like. How easy was that? Don't forget to show us how your blooms turned out. We are loving the projects coming through. See you later.